Hi and welcome to Winner's Corner. Winter burst is in full bloom, which means that we have V75 rounds, V75 finals actually at Solvalla Racetrack in Stockholm this Tuesday. The sport is of course top notch and uh, I think that the, that the potential betting wise is uh, big as well, Michael. What do you say? It's a very tricky round, very even fields and extremely high class. So I'm really looking forward to this round. Okay, we start immediately outside the V75 frame in race three. It's for four-year-old horses, and uh, how do you want to open up this day? Uh, I'm going to start off with a win bet on number one, Jackpot Tuma. Uh, last time the horse was uh, out behind the gate, started off in the second row, and the horse doesn't like that at all. So uh, went off stride in the start, lost quite a bit of ground, and then came back very strong. Looked like he was heading for the win, but uh, got beat over the final stretch there. But a strong performance, great form, and this time likes the conditions a lot better. From the inside here, I think Jackpot Tuma has a good chance to take the lead and go wire to wire. So we start off with a win bet there on horse number one in race three. And now we jump all the way to the seventh race of the day. Uh, and there we find a long distance race, 3,140 meters, with horses, Mike, spread out over five tiers. Yeah, uh, it, it's a bit messy to figure out this race, but uh, I, no matter how you analyze this, I think number nine, Ready Rib, is the horse to beat here. That's the one with the best handicap by far. Uh, Ready Rib has been very good over long distance. Uh, last time was no exception. Ulf Olsen was replacing Bjorn Goop that time. Won very comfortably in 15-7 over this extremely long distance. Um, with this post here and not too many good horses on up front, I think Bjorn Goop can afford to be a bit aggressive here and head forward early on and try to put a lot of ground between him and, for instance, Nahar, who's starting off 40 meters behind. Sounds like a pretty safe win bet there, Ready Rib. Race 8 is the bronze division final. It's 10 horses uh, behind the gate. And who is your favorite to win this one? Uh, this one I'm excited about. It's going to be exciting to see what kind of odds we're getting on this one. I've got a feeling he will be very overlooked. Number four, Island Life. Last time was out on the V75. There was a lot of talk about him beforehand. Uh, he drew a lot of attention. Peter Norman really drove a préparé race there. He just headed backwards in the start and it was still quite a strong performance from Island Life. Didn't win, of course, after that préparé race, but uh, showed form. And I think he was just preparing the horse for this final here. So I think Island Life will be improved and I think he'll be overlooked because he didn't win last time and disappointed a lot of betters. That sounds promising. And with that, we make a leap all the way to the last race of the day, number 13, no, race number 12. Uh, it's placed outside the V75 frame. And uh, what interesting thing have you found for us here? Uh, I'm going to go for a horse trained by Jürgen Vestholm and driven by Patrick Fanlund in this amateur driver's race. He's winning a lot of amateur races at the moment. And number 12, champion Chip is going to be my pick. Uh, great horse. Uh, a bit, uh, bit on the strong side, not too speedy, but he always keeps his pace. Last time Bjorn Goop was put on the horse and uh, he really uh, got it all out of him. So if he just takes this, that race in, in his stride, so to speak, I think he'll be greatly improved this time because he really got tired last time. Uh, he's a tough horse. He's by Pine Chip. I think he'll improve and I think we'll see a strong performance. So 12 is the number to remember this Tuesday. Race 12 and horse number 12. We move on to the daily double. And uh, this uh, Tuesday, we find it in races 10 and 11. Uh, we're talking about, in DD1, the gold division. And here we find a lot of horses that we are very well known. Nadal, Brulein, Senet Brick, Cruzado de la Noche, Ontrak Piraten. Who do you want to talk to? Talk about. I, I'm going to talk about number three, Digital Inc. He's heading back in full form, and we remember him as one of the greatest horses here in Sweden. Uh, he hasn't been all that convincing in his first starts for Robert Berg, but last time, very nice performance, great finish behind Zenit Brick, and I think it, the order will be turned around this time. Much better value for money than the favorite Zenit Brick. And DD2 is the class one final, and what do you recommend here? Uh, this is a very even race here, but number seven, Seal Kronos, is going to be my pick. Uh, I, th I think that uh, he's got a good chance to reach the front after a bit. Uh, Demolition Man will probably take the lead, and then if Stefan Sedekvist just drives forward with the Seal Kronos, I think he'll be allowed to overtake.
So the daily double this Tuesday, it consists of one single combination. The V75 round, Mike, is now going to solve for us. And uh, as you know, uh, the rules are, as always, we have to find the winners in seven consecutive races. And those winners, Mike, believe we have within this frame. Let's take a look at your system. Three bankers, and we've only talked about one of them, and that is number nine, Ready Rib, in the third leg. So let's now focus on the other two, starting with um, number six, Man of Steel, in V75-2. What can you tell us about him? The horse has been so improved in an American style race bike. Second to last time he won the V75 very uh, convincingly f uh, from the lead. Last time he went off stride in the start, he was a bit too eager, but came back very strong and showed continuing form. So uh, he's definitely the horse to beat here. And in the fifth leg, we have a banker in number two, Cab Hoonline. How safe a banker would you say that this horse is? Uh, th this one I'm a little bit concerned about. I'm going against one of my favorite horses, Han Herod, who we've had as a pick here several times. But if you analyze this, I think Cab Hornline has a good chance to take the front, and uh, he is very tricky to beat. I think he's still undefeated in the lead, that horse. 560 combinations. That will hopefully do it for this Tuesday's V75 round. Of course, you find uh, all additional information about Swedish trotting and horse betting at our website, SwedishHorseRacing.com. And now we wish you the best of luck with your bets to Solvalla Racetrack and the V75 finals there this Tuesday. Bye-bye.